good evening everyone uh, it is a pleasure and a honor for me to introduce with you all uh, mohammed otayaba otayaba am i correct otayba. Am I correct? yeah i'm i'm saying it correct otayaba he has uh, cleared his fmg exam that happened just now uh, and has scored 158 marks heartiest congratulations mohammed thank you sir thank you so much how are you feeling i'm feeling on top of the cloud sir that it's been so a great journey uh, uh, i my i've done my mbbs from kgs state medical academy and after five years of uh, going to the classes at 7 in the morning in minus 24 degrees celsius and then i came here and joined dams that's the best decision that i took and because of the faculty that taught me so well and uh, gave me the framework to work on and they have provided so the notes which were so efficient and so concise that uh, that it was not a burden to learn something uh, like a subject it was not a burden for example when i was studying ops and gyne i was afraid about obstetric but uh, because of ma'am vikti ma'am says that we ops and gyne and she says Oh, and i was in love with obsen gani and it was my one of the strongest subject uh, and alhamdulillah i'm feeling very very uh, uh, happy to share this and make my uh, as i make my parents proud or teacher which are proud for me feeling very proud for me and uh, that's why that's a brief of my journey um, and and for uh, an instant i was a little down and then just before one month before the exam when i gave my first gt of dams uh, because of some family circumstances i could not attend the defects video live so i messaged dipti ma'am that uh, ma'am uh, is it too late will i be able to do it so ma'am motivated me you know bachcha the word she uses bachcha uh, no it, uh, you can do it you did well in the gt your score is your sports are good so just keep going first cover your pendency cover your pendencies and revise 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 solve mcqs and that's it i did what they told me and now i am here making my parents proud my teacher proud my friends proud and i am also feeling my proud because i i am feeling i deserve every marks that are scored that is the beauty of it actually uh, one thing I, i i often talk about this thing is that there are two aspects to preparation one is the academic another is the non academic and see non academic is all around you know there's motivation from friends there's motivation from family teachers institute somebody you must be following on youtube you know people who are great motivators but at the end of the day i feel that 80% of job is done at the academic front and yes. that is something that in retrospect we don't think too much about it like if i ask you that uh, you would always say ki okay dams was very uh, helpful and all the teachers were very helpful but at the end of the day it is all about you and the subject and you mm-hmm. being able to put that energy and that effort into that subject so tell us about your academic journey first so my academic journey first when i was not able to get a seat in mbbs uh, i was just devastated and i told my brother that i want to pursue bds because i don't want to repeat or go out of india but he shows he showed faith in me that no you are mbbs material you have to be a doctor you have that caliber so after forcing me he sent me and convincing me to go uh, abroad to pursue my mbbs then i saw some uh, medical colleges and i guess medical state academy i took it because i thought that's the best best option for me and after going uh, the first year went good i studied then from the second year third year i studied like so and so uh, the major study has uh, started on the fifth year uh, taking lectures uh, fmg lectures and all Uh, lectures when you complete the subject in six to seven days, I have ten ten hours classes. So I took that classes and revise and revise, and 
when i came here so i have a pretty much not any subject were were very good but i have everything that was uh, come in front of my eye there was nothing that was new to me so i made sure that i know a little bit of everything and after coming to dance uh, i uh, when i joined dance it was difficult because uh, i have always studied outside of my home and i joined online because i could not go to delhi because i am from mumbai and because my mother's condition was were not good so i wanted to spend time with her also so when i joined online it was very difficult for me to sit at home and study because because uh, i was always away from home studying in libraries or hostels with a surrounding of study so it was very difficult for me but one thing i made sure and i will always tell the online student don't skip live classes that i will take this lecture on 2x because it will save time no it will waste your time it will definitely waste your time you will not study the day that you skip the lecture you will not complete the lectures in a go you will complete it one in a in, in parts and and it will i have uh, skip two to three subjects lecture and did it on like 2x and those subjects were my weak points that's that's the one thing i will tell the online students or maybe the offline student who stays as hostel and takes online classes uh, because there is some party you will take okay i will take it. no that's the very big problem here i often say this and this is something that i have also realized that uh, more the convenience less is the efficiency yes so when you have the convenient option of switching off and switching on the video you will never end up finishing that on time but exactly. when you have to sit in a place maybe that is an uncomfortable seat there are people around you there are only two breaks in the entire day you end up finishing the entire subject with better clarity and concept so that is yes. a very you genuine know. point that you have made and that is precisely the reason why we have always insisted insisted on a live class yes although in an entire live class you might not ask a single doubt you might not write anything in the chat box but live class is a live class yes that's the point and in the later stage uh, like uh, two months before the exam i le- i left the house i went to some uh, mumbai a different part took a room isolated myself from my family and then i studied in the library because uh, um, in my family there was some marriage function and also uh, some different functions so i don't wanted to get disturbed so that why that's why i isolated myself and i studied in the library uh, that was the that was the best decision for my, myself because if i have stayed at home i wouldn't be that this must this must uh, much efficient that is wonderful that is really commendable to take that decision at your age i feel that is very mature of you because uh, we all get ex- exposed to such scenarios where we have to take a call and i tell you personally what i did the moment i finished my internship and i took a drop <clears throat> it was my sister's wedding and i started preparing <laughs> and instead of you know uh, telling my dad ki okay i am going to only come for the wedding and you do all the arrangement i took one month break i came home i helped my dad with the wedding i went i got the wedding done then again stayed for 5 6 days more and then came back and i felt that was the biggest mistake that i did i lost all my tempo in that one month i lost 3 months because after coming back also i never got back on track yes. so that was uh, very that, good uh, because of the marriage i went to the marriage but also that where i lost like 7 to 10 days but i came back i know that's the time. this is the most important part of my life i don't want it, it to be best so i went in studied 12 hours in the last uh, uh, one or maybe 1.5 months i went to the library at 8 am came back at 12 uh, uh, took the lunch breakfast and dinner in the canteen library canteen uh, eat normal food not going anywhere so i was very focused in the last month and that's the reason i cleared it um and that's it so let me let me just ask you because you know most we see every year we see that there are only 10 20% people who finally make it so yes. there is a large group of people out there who haven't made it and this was your first attempt right 
this was my first attempt so now if you have to say <clears throat> give five tips to people who are not able to do it in first second third or fourth attempt yes. then what would those very important pearls of wisdom would be practical points not that one should study for 12 hours and one should make notes and one should attend classes everybody knows that and everybody is doing that and yet they are not able to make it so what would you tell all these students who have not got through that these are the practical things that you have to do to get through that barrier first thing is what i did uh, psm uh, i have to revise the psm and uh, make it good or strong for me myself very early as soon as the subject was uh, completed because this psm is very boring and if you not complete it it is a burden for the student and uh, in the later stage you cannot do psm because it's like what is this why should i study this that's the thing so one should do psm uh, first and also the subject which you are afraid you should do first as sumir said uh, sumir said sir, sir said he from in the morning this you should do first do the hardest thing the later journey will be easier for you so this is the second point and the third point is make some subject which you can revise in 4 to 5 hours some subject like uh, small subjects you do not leave they are very scoring because the question they that can be asked from small subjects are very easy if you have read something like if you have read psychiatry uh, honestly there is maximum chance you will get 70 to 80 percent from psychiatry questions will correct like for example seven questions came you will get four to five correct Uh, same for dharma same for F- forensic forensic sir very good anesthesia as you <laughs> you taught anesthesia you know it well it's like uh, you can do the subject in one day you can revise in 6 hours and if you again revise 4 hours and if you again revise it can be revised in 2 hours so these are the subject the main motives are uh, smaller subjects you should not focus on smaller subjects and uh, the three main like uh, option gani you should have a strong hold on option gani you should have a strong hold on psm because these are scoring subject if you know the concept you, uh, you can make that uh, question right that's the point and uh, one more tip i will give is don't exhaust yourself like i'm studying today 12 hours and the next day i'm not studying then the next day i'm studying 4 hours then the next day i'm again studying 12 hours no you should uh, after the class if you only study for 2 to 3 hours revising what the teacher have taught that's it that is efficient the you have to change the gear in the last two minutes when the revision starts if you overburden yourself you will exhaust at the end of the uh, ex- when the exam is near and when you are exhausted you will not feel motivated to study you will waste your time and overthink if the uh, unnecessary unnecessary things like if my i will clear it not if you are motive uh, disciplined enough only uh, the sumer sir also said that motivation no only discipline absolutely perfect now <clears throat> what stands out in what you have said is that uh, one is the choice of subject you have to first do the bulk subject psm obg they form the bulk for the exam second is high efficiency so when you say shorter subjects they are not genuine they are not actually shorter it yes, is just that for the time of the amount of time that you put in that subject more number of positives come out of it so that way they are high efficiency third is consistency in the way you deal don't read for 12 hours one day and no reading on another day read for 8 hours every day yes fourth is how to control your emotions <clears throat> don't keep things till the last otherwise you'll panic yes and last and what is very nice to see <coughs> is that you pick up one of the most practical aspects of what is being told that motivation is very short lasting but discipline is more this is something that we all there are only few students who are actually able to understand it and do it so yes. i'm very happy that what we say is something also- Uh, sorry to interrupt but i will also say that talk to your parents talk to your friends very good 
very don't important. do the journey alone yes it's support system don't support don't system is very important yes yeah. if you are yeah. if you are feeling down that i have not i'm not able to study today call a friend yeah a friend who is doing fmg ask him what are you studying they will motivate you ah, i have done this you will get the motivation ah, he is also studying i have should study he is also studying he is also doing mcq i should do that so involve as much as only the person who are good for you not the negative ones yeah very good support system i think you are a you are a wonderful wonderful student mohammed very happy all the things that i Uh, often talk about in the class i talk very less about the academic part because that is something that you guys have with you when you come to dams uh, we assure that whatever is needed for the class uh, is what you have in your notebooks but what is very important is that you have <clears throat> also imbibed this habit of being a winner <clears throat> yeah. It, these things differentiate a winner from somebody who is not able to make it so i am very very genuinely very excited for you and uh, i am hoping to see uh, and come again and have this conversation with you next year after you clear neat pg also in first attempt and sure, that's, um, my, that's my next goal sir yes so take a break for a few days think about your internship and then uh, i'm going to see you on the other side and i'm going to make sure that i only talk to you after you clear your neat pg maybe we'll meet in the classroom uh, as well absolutely absolutely yeah. mumbai mumbai is one of my favorite batches Okay, sir. So all the very best, Mohammed. It was really okay. nice talking to you, and God bless you. Ah, uh, sir, it was an honor to talk to you, sir. Yes. You made my day. Thank the you so pleasure, much. The pleasure is all mine. Thank you so much. Okay, God bless you. Bye.